Hi, I'm Kathy Itson, and with my co-pastor, T. Michael Rock, we want to welcome you to this wonderful community at Robbinsdale Parkway United Church of Christ, and to this week's session of Grace, Gratitude, and Generosity. What I'm going to be talking about today is the importance of staying in the moment, which is always a challenge for me, as it is for many others. But I'm going to start out with this great poem by John Rodel. My brain and my heart divorced a decade ago over who was to blame, about how big a mess I have become. Eventually, they couldn't be in the same room with each other. Now my head and my heart share custody of me. I stay with my brain during the week and my heart gets me on the weekends. They never speak to one another. Instead, they give me the same note to pass to each other every week. And their notes always that they send to each other always say the same thing. This is all your fault. On Sundays, my heart complains about how my head has let me down in the past. And on Wednesday, my head lists all of the times that my heart has screwed things up for me in the future. They blame each other for the state of my life. There's been a lot of yelling and crying, so lately I've been spending a lot of my time with my gut, who serves as my unofficial therapist. Most nights I sneak out of the window in my rib cage and slide down my spine and collapse on my gut's plush leather chair, which is always open for me. And I just sit, 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 sit until the sun comes up. Last evening, my gut asked me if I was having a hard time being caught between my head and my heart. I nodded. I said I didn't know if they could live with each other anymore. My heart is always so sad about something that happened yesterday while my head is always worried about something that may happen tomorrow, I lamented. My gut squeezed my hand. I just can't live with my mistakes of the past or my anxiety about the future, I sighed. My gut smiled and said, in that case, you should go stay with your lungs for a while. I was confused. The look on my face gave it away. If you are exhausted about your heart's obsession with the fixed past and your mind's focus on the uncertain future, your lungs are the perfect place for you. There's no yesterday in your lungs. There is no tomorrow there either. There is only now. There is only inhale. There is only exhale. There is only this moment. There is only this breath. And in that breath, you can rest while your heart and head work their relationship out. This morning, while my brain was busy reading tea leaves and while my heart was staring at old photographs, I packed a little bag and walked to the door of my lungs. Before I could even knock, she opened the door with a smile, and as a gust of air embraced me, she said, what took you so long? That's by John Rodel. I love that. I love that poem, because it is a reminder to me to stay with my breath, to stay with my center, to catch myself when my heart is over here or my head is over here worrying about things in the past, worrying about things that haven't even happened yet. And our brain is set up to do that as a protective measure to get us to make good plans for the future, to learn from our past experiences, and yet it can get in the way. And all traditions of faith teach you to stay in the moment because this is where the heart is which means this is how God, however we see God in the world, is centered. So stay with your lungs, stay with your breath, stay with your center. And we need to call us back to that here and there throughout the day. But my wish for you is that you can be called back when you need to be, that you can live out where we are now. I was just working at the, out at the Y today. I take a fitness class um, lifting weights. And one of the women in that class had a t-shirt that reminded me of the United Church of Christ because I've seen this on t-shirts for the United Church of Christ. But the first line of her t-shirt was, enjoy this life. And that's the life that we have. That's the life we're given and it's such a gift. It fits in with that generosity and gratitude and grace. This is where we are in this moment. So enjoy it. Amen. Thank you.